What's up guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a spin table. Uh, you're going to need one of these. It's called a Lazy Susan. When you go to a hardware store like Home Depot, just ask them for a Lazy Susan and you should be able to find something like this. It's got bearings on the inside so it spins. And uh, two pieces of plywood. This is three quarter inch thick. Um, if you get them both the same size, it's ideal. I've already made this one in the past and I took it apart to just to show you guys today how I made it. So, this is the top piece. This is the bottom part of the top. You can see here I paint on this side. So the first thing I did is I used a straight edge and I went from corner to corner. I drew a line here drew a line here and found the center of the piece of wood right here then I did the same thing and found the center for this piece of wood here so I just lay this down with this dot in the center that's pretty much how I measured it and then I used some screws to screw this down Okay, so then I drilled four holes around the outside that line up with these holes here. And I made these holes bigger so that the screwdriver can make it all the way through. So then I flipped this over. with these holes lined up line up the drill bit now I have these thinner screws and I'm gonna screw these in here and make sure it goes through the Lazy Susan's holes Then I just do the same thing for the rest. Alright, looks like we're about done here. Just flip it over, and you got yourself a spin table. Originally, it was two rectangle pieces of wood, but I cut off the wood on the corners here so that when I spin it, my hand won't get caught and um, catch the other piece of wood. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.